Okay guys, so listen, as you can see, we've got some new locks for the lock lab. And uh, we start with this one here. We've got this uh, Ultian uh, dimple lock um, that's got some pretty good bitting actually, as you can see by the key there. Uh, of course, it works absolutely fantastically well. Um, very kindly sent to me by Gordon W, as was this uh, evil, evil, evil lock. Um, as you can see by the, the uh, ward in there, yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that. The bit is not too bad, but I'm led to believe this has got a passive sidebar in as well, so we're gonna have to be careful with that. Obviously works absolutely flawlessly, most of them to the side. And then of course we've got the Ingersoll, the infamous Ingersoll, which has uh, 10 levers um, and a hinged um, uh, sidebar to uh, which you've got to get engaged to actually open the lock. Of course the lock works absolutely perfectly, as you can see there. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get this in the vise and we're going to have a cut picking into it. Yeah, if we can get it unlocked, that's good. There we go. Um, so listen, let's get the vise over and we will get this picked open. Um, and uh, as I say, if we are successful, we'll, um, of course we'll uh, open it up and uh, see the mechanism inside. Because I'm led to believe it's pretty cool, pretty intricate. Um, so let's just get it's a bit of an awkward one to mount up this one because uh, you've got those bits and pieces in there. Okay, I think we're going to be fine there. Let's just get you up there, that's good. Okay, so the uh, 10 lever <laughs> Ingersoll, uh, as you can see, the lock's working fine. Okay, so the way I'm gonna attack this, we're gonna use a uh, 50 thousandths pry bar, um, and we're gonna go in with uh, sort of a shallowish, sort of strong hook, um, relatively stout tension, and then we're just gonna go through and look for binders. Okay, so right from the off, Level one on the bottom is our binding. Okay, we've got a nice little click. And uh, like I say, if you just give them a little tap on top, you can um, you can feel which ones need to be set. Okay, pin five at the back. Okay, a nice little click there. Um, and uh, going from the bottom levers, obviously I'm just gonna use my finger to actually put the downward force, but I can actually come off this uh, bit of ward in here um, to uh, set the top ones. So once again, we're going to have a look. Okay, a little click out of lever number two. Three, five, four, five. Okay, six, oh, sorry, five. Okay, got a nice little click out of that one then. Back through. Okay, one's binding. Okay, maybe a click out of one. Four. I've got relatively stout tension on this one, as I said. Let's go back to the bottom. Two, three, four, five feels good. Okay, let's go back through here. Four. Okay, nice little click out of four. One binding. And there you go, we're open up a one. So not too bad in the end, actually. Um, listen, what we'll do, we'll take it apart and we'll have a look at the mechanism. Frame. Let's just put that over there. Okie dokie. Now, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare to take apart because we've got to get this circle clip off and we've also got to get this little clip out here. So I think we'll start with that little clip there. So what we'll do, we'll bring the pin tray over so we don't damage the mat. Okay, that's good. Okay, hopefully we can just pull this out. There you go, that's not too bad. That should bring that cap off, I believe. No, let's get the whole thing out. Okay, let's get some um, C clip removers and uh, let's see if we can get this out. Okay, that was a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so that brings this part here off, which uh, reveals this part. As I said, I haven't actually taken this lock apart yet, so I don't quite know what we're gonna walk into. Okay, that's that bit there. So hopefully this will all push forward. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay, so just move that out of the way. 
Okay, so as we can see, just get you zoomed in a bit there. We have this um, lever, um, like a hinge lever there. Um, let's just get the key and uh, you can see all the gates in there as well. So wonderful, wonderful mechanism. Um, really, really uh, interesting. Um, and you can see all the gates. So go into the line there. Oops. And then of course you've got all your um, all your uh, gates there, um, sort of one to ten right the way through there. Lovely, lucky, lovely mechanism. Really is lovely. Um, and of course then the gate will slide in, so obviously you can then um, open the lock up. So a really, really interesting lock. Really pleased I actually managed to get one of these picked open. Um, I'm going to try and get one of the um, Ingersoll padlocks, which I'm led to believe are a little bit more tricky than this because you've got like a, a rubber ring around the back side of it, um, which actually really dampens down the feedback. Um, so yeah, so absolutely amazing. So there you go, the Ingersoll 10 lever uh, lock um, picked and uh, sort of uh, taken apart. Uh, listen guys, hope you found that interesting. And of course we'll catch up with you next time.